Okay guys, today is gonna be quite a day. It might get graphic at some point, so this is your warning right now, but we are going to a Maasai village and we're not doing the touristy stuff. We are going there to really, truly see and understand how they live on a daily basis. Yeah. So I'm very excited about that. I've been wanting to do that for a while. I don't know what to expect and this is, this is the fun of it. <laughs> So we are still on our road trip here. We are currently in Anuki, thanks to Sun World Safari for the trucks that we are camping in. We are heading up to a conservancy about two and a half hours from here. But first, we're actually going to meet up with Sam, the Maasai guy, um, so he can lead us in because we don't know where we're going. Meet Sam, he's gonna be our guide for the day. He's gonna take us, well, guide us from Nanyuki all the way to his village. He's gonna jump uh, uh, jump in with the where next because they have way more space for you than in our truck. Our truck is a mess. You don't wanna see it. <laughs> we're, we're ashamed. We're, we're not gonna show you. <laughs> Hi. Okay, so we are on the road. We should be about two hours ish from what I hear. And apparently, the easiest way there is to go through like, how many? Two to three conservancies? Three to four conservancies. Oh, okay. So, um, who knows, maybe we'll have like a little safari on the way there. Um, we're a little late. That's right, we're Kenya time right now. That's all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we're on our way. We're coming. All your kids. This all kids? is my kid. This is wow. All no, that's been a very kids. busy dad. I see that. <laughs> you have a tribe on your own. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I connect my work school. So we arrived to Sam's village. We already met Sam as and his tribe. Like uh, there's so many kids. I think he has like six or seven or something six, like that. I think. So there's a lot of kids in this village. It's a smaller village. I think three families, but Maasai family are really, really big. So let's go meet everyone have a quick walk and then we're gonna set up our camp right yeah. beside the village so Ina and Adam brought some cookies for the kids and there's actually some kids from the neighbors who are come here because well the Mzungus are here <laughs> time to set up camp because we need to let everything dry out and then we're gonna go to our other small village all the kids seems very entertained watching us putting the camp up because we have no clue what we're doing. We are amateurs. And every few minutes, there's a new kid that pops out of the bush. Well, that's a camel, but th that's a kid. Okay, so camp is up and now we're gonna do a little visit of the camp. There's actually 1.2 million Maasai people in Kenya and about 2 million total. There's also a lot of them in uh, Tanzania as yeah. well. So um, here in this village, 16 people are living here. There's three permanent structures and three different families yeah. that are like seem to be all connected though because yeah, yeah. there's like sam's brother sam's dad that lives here as well yeah. and, and Sam. sam's mini tribe <laughs> okay so you're welcome to my trip again thank you very much this is my uh, house as you see this this is a spear this is mostly what we use to protect ourselves from the uh, predators you know we do have lions uh, leopards uh, hyenas during the night so you're welcome So 
inside Sam's house, we have the boys that sleep here. We have his wife and the girls who sleep over here, and then Sam's own private room there. So then beside the house, they have a little fenced in area, so that's where they can put their goat and sheep kind of livestock in there. They close it up to protect against the hyenas, lions, leopards, because they actually uh, walk around quite a bit around here. So we should hear lots of noises tonight. So the village actually just moved here not too long ago because of the drought. So now they're much closer to the river. The view is actually stunning on the other side of our trucks. And uh, they're not quite done building the house. And fun fact, the women are actually in charge of building those houses. And Sam says that it's not a big task, that they're very good and used to. So it's almost supper time and the Maasai tribe are known for their very particular diet which is mainly based out of meat, milk and blood. So yeah, depending on where the tribe is located, the weather, season because of droughts and everything like that kind of can fluctuate their diet. So currently right now the cows are just coming back from Mount Kenya mm -hmm. because it was a huge drought. Um, so they have been eating a lot of veggie and ugali so not as much meat. Yeah. but. Tonight. Because we're here, the Muzungus are in town, so it's a special occasion. Yeah. So this is where the vegans are gonna turn off this video. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna slaughter a goat and really uh, go through the process. It's not really yeah. a ceremony, but it's kind of a ceremony. No, but kind of. The the men are doing it. Yeah. Uh, they're anyway. I'll let Sam explain it because I, I have <laughs> Let's no get it right. clue about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why we're here to learn. <laughs> so now they're building a little fire pit there where we're going to be able to cook the meat uh, once once everything is done. So now we are going to kill the goat. So the warriors will have the part of the neck and the one and the right part of the rib as well as half of the blood. The ladies will get the uh, all part of the stomach. As well as they will get half of the back of the, the backbone of the back. The old men will get one of the right leg, and for the boys they will get part of the chest, and for the girls they will also have the uh, will get half of the part of the uh, the backbone. We also barbecue the head. That's also for the old men, and the rest now will go for the rest of the program. No, I'm used to buy my meat at the grocery store. So this. It's very outside of my comfort zone. I'm very glad that I, you know, have the privilege to like experience something like that with the Maasai. But, whew, heart's beating a little bit. <laughs> so the goat was picked. Now there is the younger men that are chopping some branches there so they'll be able to put the meat on it so it doesn't get dirty with all the dirt everywhere. So they don't actually uh, kill the goat the way I thought the, it was going to be. Much less graphic, they actually do it through uh, suffocation and then when it's actually dead, then they will prepare the meat. The difference in culture is, is just so big, it's so much than what you can expect because there's all the kids around, they're looking at it and just, they're just happy because they're no, they know that like the feast is coming and for me just watching that was just so much, like I have shivers it's fine, like I understand that this is where meat comes from. Like I'm not a vegan, I'm not a vegetarian, I eat meat like every single day. But just to see the full process is quite something. There's a lot. It doesn't taste bad. Very like salty. But whew, for, from America, I mean, this is a lot. <laughs> so I went to drink the blood. I took a little sip. All these guys here, face first, big sips. It was a good. Is good the goat? Good? Yeah. Good. 
much braver than me. <laughs> so the younger men are prepping the goat, prepping the meat. There's literally nothing that goes to waste. They'll make uh, blood pudding out of the blood and they eat everything. The liver, the, the ribs, the head, everything. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> You gotta compete. How do you do it? Just pull. You just pull. She, she's competing. Okay, baby, go. Go there. Not something I thought I was gonna do when I woke up this morning. Was I good? Good? They're all laughing at me. <laughs> so next step is they're gonna make a fire and you've seen David fail at this a couple times already? Twice. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you make it with elephant dung and like this spark. So I don't know. We'll see. Can he redeem himself? Will he? I don't know. <laughs> my worst time. <laughs> young boys are done cutting the, the goat in different parts and I thought that they were bringing back the goat old but they're actually not they're using the skin to carry all the different parts hey, do you oh need to hold? Um, I think you're good holding it yeah <laughs> I'll just follow you all right let's go <laughs> okay so we're taking this to the lady So the meat has been properly butchered there and Sam made a special concoction to marinate the, the goat. And then they're prepping the fire here, putting some branches over it. It's gonna act like as a barbecue. He's making big skewers, then the meat stick through and then on the barbecue. So the women are actually making a second small fire and that's where they're going to cook the ugali and everything like that on ugali, sorry, not ugali. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so now we're going to have two fires going. Okay, so here we have a piece of goat liver. Oh. Sam is telling me that like it's his favorite part. Yeah, that's so. one of the best ones. That's delicious. Yeah? Okay, yeah. let's see. Yeah. 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 It's very good. Mmm. It's good good liver. Good one, yeah. Nice one. Very fresh. Good good fresh. Adam just made a good point. Just in the last, I would say like 25, 30 minutes, all the dogs, all the goats, all came back into the village where it's kind of fenced on their own because you know that at this time the lions and other predators are starting to hunt and they know that so that's why they're here for protection at night so this is now the ugali Perfect. ugali is from the maize corner that have been uh, Green, now we mashed it, so this is good for now. We're going to do it with the nyama choma. So, the part we have here is just the ribs, yeah, the front left leg, okay, and the, the right high uh, leg, okay. Perfect. So, we call it nyama choma, nyama choma, yeah, perfect. I love it. Mm, that's actually very good, yeah, it's a little tough, but like with like the, the, the barbecue style, like it adds so much flavor, it's really delicious. The problem is, yeah, my teeth. I'm not quite used to this texture. <laughs> the problem is that quite tough. When the mother tells you, it's a lot of chewing. The animals are out here now. And then, when you're done with your goat, they get those torn out of the acacia tree and use them as toothpickers. And it really works. 
but you gotta be careful because it's really, really pointy. Sam, thank you so much for the night. The meal was delicious. Was. You guys are great. Thank you for answering all my questions as well. I know I have a lot of questions all the time. <laughs> so we're gonna go to bed. Yeah. See you guys in the morning. So you are welcome very much. Thank you. Have a lovely night. Thank you so much. Sleep night. <laughs> and you're gonna protect us in case there's lions, right? Sure, I will do it. Okay. <laughs> I'll, be having, I'll be having some warriors just going around and keeping oh, Perfect, there. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> See you in the morning. Lala Salam. Lala Salam. Now we just gotta get uh, our sleeping arrangement organized what a day to mm -hmm. say the least it was like i just feel like so fortunate to be able to like do things like that like i loved every second of it yeah and it was really nice too like we've done a couple maasai village tours before and like they were so great don't get me wrong yeah. but to actually be able to see authentically yeah. what they do during their day that type of thing it was very very nice and eye-opening yeah sam is amazing everyone yeah, at the village so, so welcoming. welcoming yeah i was just gonna say that <laughs> yeah so yeah that was really nice on uh, on the other side so um sam told us that during the night and especially because we had goat nyamachoma yeah. there's a high 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 probability that some hyenas are going to come to the camp um, and even maybe some lions he says so if we hear the dogs barking around us that means something is going on so <laughs> we'll see maybe we're going to go through the night without issues maybe something's going to happen i don't know he doesn't seem oh. stressed about it at all yeah that's fair yeah all right See you in the morning. Guys, look at that view straight from the tent. Beautiful sunrise this morning. A few months ago, I really wanted to create something that represents us, represent what we do on a daily basis, what we stand for. So I don't know if you noticed, but in the past few months, we have been wearing this crew neck, this hoodie, and our different t-shirts with this logo on it. Did you and notice? Yes, and yes, it is our Land Rover. I made it myself. <laughs> um, so we've been trying to like test them out, the fabrics and everything. And in my opinion, I think we've got it. Yeah, we're satisfied um, with the quality, the prints. They stay yeah. on even though if you wash them a lot and everything. Yeah. So we're ready to launch. Um, so if it's something you're interested in and want to check out, go to adventureseekers.store. Have a look around. It's pretty cool stuff. <laughs> I was just gonna walk beside the village to tell you guys that like it's still very quiet. It's 6:55 in the morning, and then they all, all the kids came out of the house. Tracy and I always say it: the Lakipia area in Kenya is our favorite. The orange ground, the lushness, but it's also dry. Mount Kenya at a distance. I mean, look at this river. It's amazing. The river behind me a few weeks ago was completely dry and that caused the death of four of their cows owned by the village uh, where we are right now. And this really shows the kind of struggle that the Maasai tribe is dealing with literally on a daily basis because this river is literally a source of life. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Sam. How are you? Very good. Some people at uh, Sam's village have never tried coffee, so Sam, who likes coffee apparently, wanted them to taste, so we made them a fresh cup of coffee. I personally don't like it, so... <laughs> <laughs> they're all saying that they like it, but sometimes, you know, they take sips and they're like... kind of thing, so I don't know. I told Sam, like, no offense taken, because I don't even like coffee, so... Anyway, well, that's done. So we're gonna have a little bite with the Maasai for breakfast. They were telling me that basically they do not eat anything in particular uh, for breakfast. You know, like eggs and bacon is a very like North American kind of invention. But here, you know, the, the, the goat head from yesterday is still available. Apparently there's quite a bit of meat and it's quite flavorful. So that's what's for breakfast this morning. You know, when we say that nothing is wasted from an animal here, well, right now, Sam's mom is gonna prepare the skin, clean it, and dry it and it's going to be used eventually for bedding. We've got like another 15 minutes here before we have to roll out. Um, so we're going on a quick walk just down by the river. Yeah, just Sam's good. Oh, look, he's shooting.
and take another one. No, that's fine. Oh, wow, this still has the, the... Do I eat the hair? Yeah. Mm. Probably you can just put the hair out. So you just rip this, yeah. the skin. It's quite tough, but it tastes like pretty much yeah, it's a lot all the rest of the gold. Huh? Mm. Sam, thank you so much for this incredible opportunity. It means a lot to us that you just let us like, you know, come into your village and experience what you guys are doing on a daily basis. I think people are going to find this very interesting. So thank you so much. Ashiole. Ashiole. <laughs> You're so welcome next time. Thank you so much. I yeah. appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, we will miss you guys. Well, I will miss you too. I have a lot of good photos and a lot of good memories. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Lesere. 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 Bye. 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 Asante. Asante. <laughs> Asheole. Asheole. <laughs> Let's go! So after almost 24 hours in the Messiah village, it was very interesting to see their way of life, their even just like their eating patterns, I guess, with the yeah. seasons, how it changes, yeah. um, and how badly drought can affect. I think that's something that really stood out to yeah. me too. But overall, like, such great people, so welcoming, yeah, so they're resilient. Fantastic. Oh, 100%. It's... And the kids are so happy. Yeah. Like everyone just is a community, is a family. And I think that's something that can get very lost in today's day yeah. and age. Yeah. Um, yeah, so thank you once again. I know we said thank you in person, but if they ever see this, <laughs> thank you so much, Sam, for house hosting us. Um, and other than that, we are currently driving out. We don't really know where we're going. That's so, gonna be in the next video, so yeah. see you guys. In the next one. And at that point they called the office and the office is refusing us entry because they don't trust that we're not going to camp in there. Um, so we were denied access to Old Jugi.